Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know for the Galaxy S3 US launch. Now, first thing is there's been some changes to the Galaxy S3. And that is that it now has a S4 dual-core processor with 1.5 GHz. Now, for those of you worried about the quad-core, not to worry too much because the S4 was actually faster than uh, other quad-cores such as the Tegra 3 quad-core. However, you did get a huge boost in RAM. Instead of just one gigabyte of RAM, there's now two gigs of RAM. So that's going to be really good because on tablets, we mainly use one app to stress out um, our processors. However, in phones, most of the time we're actually just using three or four apps simultaneously, but not necessarily one app that really takes a lot out of it. So two gigs of RAM is going to go a lot more, uh, a lot further away. And from someone that's built computers and done all that stuff, i rather prefer 2 gigs of RAM than a quad-core processor. Alright, so now we're going to be going over the different uh, variants of the Galaxy S3. We're going to be starting with Verizon. Verizon is going to be starting pre-orders on Wednesday, June 6th. And it will be coming out with the 16 gigabyte model for $199 and the 32 gigabyte model for $249. Verizon will be carrying both the white and the blue colors. For Sprint, Sprint pre-orders start Tuesday, June 5th. Uh, press conference uh, will be held on Tuesday, June 12th. They are the only ones that have announced that they're doing a press conference. Uh, unique from everyone else. I'm not sure what they're really going to say there, but hey, you know, all power to them. Uh, release date has been confirmed for Sprint, and that is Thursday, June 21st. Uh, because it is release date, I'm assuming that the other carriers will uh, launch the same day. However, they're the only ones that have had a release date thus far. Uh, Sprint will also be carrying both colors in 16 and 32 gigabytes uh, for 199 and 249 respectively. AT&T. AT&T will start their pre-orders Wednesday, June 6th. And uh, it, they will be having the 16 gigabyte model only. They will not carry the 32 gigabyte model. So they will only be carrying the 16 gigabyte model. It still does have micro SD card slots, so you can expand the memory. But just important thing to note that it's only coming in 16 gig. However, how Sprint is kind of combating this is they have an exclusive color. Besides the white and the blue, they have a red color. So kind of interesting. We'll see how it looks in red. Uh, and maybe it'll be all stylish and stuff. As for the next one up is T-Mobile. T-Mobile's release date has been, been confirmed, and that is Thursday, June 21st. Um, as of this time, they are not taking pre-orders. They may, merely have a sign-up page, but most likely they'll be taking pre-orders, of course, before the launch. Now, uh, T-Mobile will also have the 16 and 32 gigabyte models in both colors, uh, again, going for 199 and 249. U.S. Cellular um, will also have it. This is the smallest carrier to have it, uh, but it will be LTE. Um, the U.S. Cellular will be taking pre-orders on Tuesday, June 12th. However, uh, they do not have a confirmed release date yet. They've only said it will be in July, so we do not know when in July, but it will be in July. Um, they will have the 16 gigabyte model in both colors for 199. However, they are limited to the 32 gigabyte model for 249 only for white. They will not be carrying the blue for the 32 gigabyte model. All right, guys. So um, that wraps up everything. Uh, keep in mind, every one of these are LTE models, with the exception of T-Mobile, which is going to be HSPA Plus only. It will not be LTE, as T-Mobile does not have an LTE network this year. Everyone else will have LTE, um, so you will be able to get the fastest form of internet. Alright guys, if you have any questions about the Galaxy S3, feel free to ask, and make sure uh, you subscribe to our new uh, social networking websites, uh, including Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, which will be down below on the description. Alright guys, thanks for watching, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Check out Wednesday night, we will be telling you the new update to Google Maps, because if you've been using Google Maps like I have, you no longer have the front view. Google Maps is having a conference on Wednesday, so we'll see what those updates are. Make sure to tune in to Ask the Android Guy.